What's going on guys? I got some car parts. It's fantastic. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to head over to our friend Ryan's house who's also on this channel and he and I are going to install some parts. These parts include TGV deletes, some rally armor mud flaps to install, we have a vortex generator, brain guards, EBCS, so it should be a pretty fun day. I'm excited. Here we go. Lots of car parts, I'm excited. So what do you want to put on first? Well, we should probably let the engine cool down, to be honest. So, that leaves me time to exterior stuff. stuff. Okay, good idea. Have to pump it up, Ryan. Oh yeah. Pump it up. <laughs> so first things first, uh, we're installing the vortex generator, which should be easy enough. Have to spray it off and you know, get it all cleaned up. And then probably from there, just more exterior stuff until the engine cools down, at which point we can do the TGVs and the EBCS. So yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully it'll go over well. It shouldn't take us too terribly long to install these easy enough parts. This is my first time getting to work on an FA20, so I'm actually pretty excited. Yeah, All I've worked on so far are just EJ series motors. EJ20, 22, 25. So we'll see if this is uh, easier or more difficult. From what I've heard, it's actually especially since we're just doing TGVs. Right. Yeah, so this should be a fun day. So what's the process here? So here I'm just putting some painter's tape on the vortex generator. That way we can measure it and make sure we get it centered on the uh, rear of the car. So what I'm going to do is put this piece on this antenna here, your shark pin, and then we'll mark the center there. There that go. way we can get it perfectly centered. Unless, of course, the shark fin from factory is off, in which case we're just screwed. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's <weird>. What? <laughs> well, that door just decided it didn't want to be open. <laughs> Your house is haunted, Ryan. There we go. There we go. It's getting all lined up. The idea is to get the same width here as here, all the way across. That way it's even. Even Steven. Yeah, dog, even Steven. I'll give this one more wipe down. And we'll peel off the pieces. And yeah, and I think we can lay them down. <laughs> I thought it was one long strip. Hmm. 
like they put a thicker yeah tape on the front and you do the rear. This is no going back now. Here we go. Whip <laughs> measure twice, cut once. You know? That's right. So here's the Vortex generator installed. Looks hella good. I'm excited for it. Looks so good. One down. A lot more to go. Here's all of our parts we got going on here. Yeah, so we have the mud flaps and the rain guards there. We have the TGB deletes, a new gasket, sticker of vinyl dealios, and the EBCS. He looks goofy. Be able to see it once you're. Hey Kevin, thanks for this video. Yes, Kevin, thank you very much. Hashtag Subi Speed for the win. Once those get popped in, you can go ahead and align it. You're going to want to, you're able to grab it once you have these installed. You don't want to pull them off all the way so that you're able to reposition it once it's on. Hey James, I uh, think your car is a little. Yeah, flat it's. Oh, it's so flappy. Hey, that's going to be flapped in the breeze. Yeah. She's a little loose there. Part out? Part out? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Let's get this one open. There we go. Just comes on out. Look at that. All right. Cool. So then now we can install the windows. Also, well, how does this magic work? What does this clip on there? Your guess is as good as mine right now. Looks like this clip goes up into this channel right here. And you push up and it clips in. It's kind of neat the way it works. The concentration. <laughs> okay, so we have half of it done. Um, it's not too terrible. However, when you go to actually peel off the adhesive uh, for the final step, you want to make sure that the adhesive is going up, if that makes sense. These are a pain in the butt to get started. There we go. <laughs> See, what you want is you want the uh, strip to go up because originally we started to pull down when it was on the car and these clips got in the way and we couldn't take it off further. Exactly. And there we go. They are on the car and they look incredible. Easy install, about a half hour. Look really good. Looks nice and clean. Clean finish. So an hour down and we have the rain guards and this amazing Vortex generator. We're trucking along at a pretty good pace. Hopefully it shouldn't take us too much longer to get the other stuff on. So yeah, 